Hey everyone, I'd just like to make a quick video to go over my CHSPT2 Ultra installation and why I decided to install the uh, SPT2 device uh, on my last breaker on my panel. Um, first of all, I just want to say that I am not an electrician. I'm just a homeowner installing this myself. Uh, and I really do appreciate all the feedback that I received uh, from the community and all the different tips and whatnot. I've learned a ton uh, and it's been very helpful. I wanted to open up this uh, topic though because I thought that um, this is a, a good thing to be thinking about. Um, and also I just would like to hear other people's feedback on it as well. Um, so the main reason why I decided to install it um, on here is because uh, I have, well, I have three reasons. Well, one is from what I understand about how electricity works. So from my understanding of an SP2 device, it's very much like a relief valve um, on a fluid system. Um, one thing that I compare this to is, um, you know, is, is to uh, like pipes or whatnot. Um, I imagine that uh, that, that uh, we have the main input coming here and that there could be a surge that happens over there. Um, and one thing that I note is that voltage is a measure of pressure. So when you apply pressure uh, to a system, that pressure spreads out uniformly. Um, you're not going to see pressure um, happen on the first uh, legs of the system um, before it reaches the last. It's it's that the pressure um, is uniformly going out from the source uh, to everything at once. Um, and the what I understand of the SP2 device, uh, if we look at the specs, is that it's supposed to keep everything on the system from seeing uh, voltages higher than than the amount rated. So, uh, for instance, from line to neutral or from uh, line to ground, you're not supposed to see any more than 600 volts. So the way that I um, envision it, or I understand it, is that when there's more voltage than that, that um, comes to this whole system, this thing acts like a relief valve and um, dumps the power to the to the neutral or to the to the ground bus. So from that understanding, um, because this is not in serial, this is not um, this device isn't being placed in between the input, um, the 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 incoming power, and the devices. There's no direction where it's like oh. Um, it's coming into the first slot and then the rest of it isn't seeing it uh, until later. It's that it's simultaneously um, seeing an increase in voltage and then by the time it reaches a certain point, it um, is acting as a, a relief valve, as a dump. Um, and this is happening in parallel because that's how uh, all the breakers are connected. They're not in serial um, on this device. So that's my understanding from an electrical perspective. The other perspective that I take into account is um, if we look at how Eaton um, creates their own breakers with surge protection built in, I was seeing that they themselves, um, for a factory install, have it at the last breaker. So, you know, the power is coming from here and they decided that their um, C um, HSPT2 device is going to be down here. So if Eaton's doing this, then it can't be wrong. <laughs> and uh, lastly, I um, contacted the company uh, and I asked them that uh, if I install the surge protection in another location other than the first breaker, does that degrade the performance of the unit in stopping surges? And the um, representative says, no, it doesn't change the function of the unit. Um, so based on all these things, um, how they factory installed at the bottom, uh, you know, more pictures of it here. Uh, and from what I understand about uh, electricity, 
I deemed it safe uh, and that it was going to be able to provide full protection by placing it at the bottom. Uh, I'd love to hear feedback because, as I said, I'm not an electrician. Um, I, do, I am very interested in the science, and uh, I'm, I, I do do a lot of reading and research on the topic, but I'm definitely not an expert. So um, we'd love feedback uh, in the comments or um, just to hear other people's opinions on it. Um, preferably, <laughs> I'll say I rather prefer feedback that actually gives a good explanation of this or gives a scientific ex explanation. That's not really too helpful when it just says, oh, that's just because that's how it's supposed to be. So if, uh, if you guys uh, have some you know, scientific backing or whatnot that it should be placed at the top or maybe with some uh, studies or, or um, some experiments that somebody has run that, uh, that I could point to, I would really much appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.